get in, in get in get in and let's do this i've been looking forward to do this video for a very long time hi how are you wherever you are how is your pregnancy i am so sure you are here because you're either pregnant or you're breastfeeding or you are planning to or your sister or somebody in your community that you think that will benefit from what i teach and i just guide people and i get a lot of satisfaction from what i do so so by the way why have you decided to give your baby formula milk well i am not here to judge you i am here to understand you so that we support you according to what you believe in and what is your feeding option do you want to do exclusive breastfeeding do you want to mix or do you want to do ex exclusive formula feeding mothers have very different reasons and families must be supported to make a decision after you've given them all the options all the options if you're talking about breastfeeding all the pros and cons formula feeding all the pros and cons mixed feeding all the pros and cons according to who definitely you know why they talk about breastfeeding and i am here to remind you i am a lactation specialist but that does not mean that i am blind to what is happening that does not mean that i am blind to what you are going through i am there with mothers day in day out and i get to understand why mothers will prefer formula milk all the pros and cons mixed feeding all the pros and cons according to who definitely you know why they talk about breastfeeding and i am here to remind you i am a lactation specialist but that does not mean that i am blind to what is happening that does not mean that i am blind to what you are going through i am there with mothers day in day out and i get to understand why mothers will prefer formula milk for the families who are not yet there or they are there and you feel terrible i know i've supported mothers during breastfeeding and i we, we came together or she got my contact when she had already started formula milk i know what mothers go through and when they tell me i feel like i've failed my mom, my baby i feel like i'm not the best baby uh the best mother to my baby you know that's guilt that comes within you is what i want us to discuss today and why you should not be guilty for doing what you did best at that particular moment at that particular moment you did your very best so you should not be guilty so reason number one of why mothers will always prefer or will be in that position where they prefer formula milk is when they have presumed insufficient breast milk production and what is that i know these are things that are things that are not taught and i feel so bad because every mother deserves this kind of education one way of telling mothers this is not scientific but what mothers do is number one they squeeze their breast like this the heavier it feels the better and then they think we have milk Another way is when you sleep on when or when you have your brassia on and you're leaking milk, you feel like, oh, now you have enough milk. Those are not scientific ways of telling that you have milk. It's the communication from your baby to you that will tell you that you're having enough milk. Because you might be having enough milk, but baby is not having enough. Sounds weird, right? You have enough. You feel like you have enough. But your baby is not having it because of the breastfeeding technique. Same way of a mother who feels she has enough. But her baby is not gaining weight. So I am here to discuss the reasons why you may end up feeling you did not make enough milk for your baby. That is not sufficient no matter what. So presumed uh, insufficient breast milk. And I've said how mothers look for that, which is not a good way to look for it. You should tell that your baby is having enough milk by how your baby is growing, your baby is adding weight. 
it's not that your baby is sleeping we do not determine the length of sleep what am i saying do not be happy when your baby sleep for three hours four hours and is on breast milk actually breastfed babies sleep like like what sungura or like a cat they sleep just they are easily rouseable they just sleep like this that is a well breastfed baby they don't sleep deeply in any case a child or a baby or an infant who is not easily arousable you want to wake the baby up and it's very either hajashiba ama ni mgonjwa a normal baby a baby that is fed well will be agitated will smile in her dreams and not necessarily will sleep for long so don't say that my baby is not sleeping for long and this is mostly when you compare with the days you've given formula and you're like when i was in the hospital the nurses were giving my baby formula and my baby was sleeping for long and now i'm home i'm just breastfeeding and baby is not sleeping for long obviously formula milk is heavier it's like gideri in my language where i come from gideri is a very heavy meal having gideri for breakfast you're full the whole day so formula is like gideri Baby will definitely sleep for a very long time before there is need of another feed. But for me, about our breast feed, breast milk is very, very readily absorbed, readily digested. Did you know breast milk? Now this is a story. Did you know breast milk? The digestion and absorption starts from the mouth, just like glucose, just like alcohol. <coughs> Excuse me. No, alcohol, glucose, breast milk, digestion and absorption starts from the mouth. And it's way, very fast. Way, way, very fast. By the time it is in the tummy, if the baby was taking like 200 meals, whatever gets into the tummy is half. All right? So, compare that to formula milk. That must get into the tummy. If it's the 200, at least... 195 must get into the tummy to be digested and then absorbed by the body that will tell you why your baby is waking so many times when your baby is having breast milk so when a mother is having presumed uh insufficient breast milk production and you call me and do we do a consultation it will not about your feeding it's not that you are not eating well, you are not drinking well, you are not having lactation cookies, you are not having uh, you are not having that black bean, what is it called? That black bean that has a white mark. Ah, it's getting out, yeah. Some believe in that bean, some believe in dengu, some believe in um, all those brands that are right now in the market. No. Those ones should just come to ride on whatever you have. And especially if you're having to work on back to work formula, that is when you need those things, but not when you're starting. So do not assume you are not making enough milk for your baby just because your breasts are light. That reminds me of a, a good breast, a breast that is productive should always be as soft as your cheek. Mine is soft. Yeah, so it should be as soft as your cheek. It should not be as hard as here or as hard as the tip of your nose. Worst of it all, it should not be as hard as your forehead. So anytime your breast is this soft, you are doing a good job and there is milk production that is sufficient for your baby. Just allow your baby to come on the breast. Reason number two, why some of our ladies are going formula it's because of comfort yeah i mean comfort who does not like to be comfortable who does not want to sleep and your spouse your partner or whoever feeds the baby who wants to stay with the baby for 45 minutes feeding then you want to have a nap then the baby is up another 10 minutes and the cycle continues it's very demanding and they actually 
um congratulate mothers who are breastfeeding exclusively because it is hard work because in Gumu it's dedication it is people will go to work and come back and get you back at home with the same dera with the same hairstyle with you even forgot to use your perfumes and you smell good and you you'll forget all that just because of the sacrifices that you're making for your baby so yes sometimes mothers are pushed when they really want comfort and help and they are forced to do formula milk just to allow somebody else to feed the baby and as i said we are not judging we are just understanding what we can do to help and for a mother who would want such kind of comfort it's a mom that we will tell why don't we express can we try to express either hand express or use the modern way of expressing by using the breast pumps to express your milk and allow somebody else to feed your baby with, with a cup and not a bottle because your baby will refuse your breasts we'll talk about that one no i've even talked about that one in my previous videos okay why your baby may refuse your breasts because you introduced the bottle the other reason is for cosmetic value when i say cosmetic value is that some ladies believe that when a baby breastfeeds the boobs are going to sag and they will look do, do i say ugly uh, or and and i don't know the worst, best word to use but for the value of lifestyle how will my breast look after when my breast sags i don't want my breast to sag ladies be informed that our skin will always sag it will always sag whether you breastfeed or not we have the hormones that are in charge of that anywhere even our neck our face around this place anywhere our hands the skin will always sag all right but for people who believe that that is not there their, their breasts are for sexual pleasure for cosmetic value for whatever reason those are mamas who can do formula but for how long will your skin stay intact for how long will your breast stay like we say kumeskusi mama whatever will they stay like that they will sag so it's for you to look at it do you want them to serve for a good cause that you did feeding your baby or do you want them they will just serve and there after you'll be like you your baby didn't get all the benefits of breast milk just because you didn't want to breastfeed and they have already served two three four years down the road i know right <laughs> make that decision but yeah i've seen women who will refuse to breastfeed because of that reason the society may look at it as very mean as for me i will not judge uh, you might even decide to pump here yeah, there is a particular religion of people that i've met here in kisumu that they strongly believe that it's this is a sexual organ so they do not mix it with baby something like that and what they do they invest heavily in exclusive pumping they will pump milk they will pump milk they will buy the best breast pump that will make their life comfortable and by that definitely their children will have the benefits of breast milk 